Barbara Vertime Touchman was an American historian and author. She won the Pulitzer Prize twice, for The Guns of August, a best-selling history of the Prelude II and the first month of World War I, and Stillwell and the American Experience in China, a biography of General Joseph Stillwell. Touchman focused on writing popular history. Biography Early years Barbara Vertime Tudgeman was born January 30, 1912, the daughter of the banker Morris Vertime and his first wife Alma Morgenthau. Her father was an individual of wealth and prestige, the owner of the Nation magazine, president of the American Jewish Congress, prominent art collector, and a founder of the Theatre Guild. Her mother was the daughter of Henry Morgenthau, Sr., Woodrow Wilson's ambassador to the Ottoman Empire. Vertime was influenced at an early age by the books of Lucy Fitch Perkins, G.A., Henty, and Wolfe, as well as the historical novels of Dumas. She attended the Walden School on Manhattan's Upper West Side. She received her Bachelor of Arts from Radcliffe College in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1933, having studied history and literature. Researcher and journalist following graduation, Vertime worked as a volunteer researcher assistant at the Institute of Pacific Relations in New York, spending a year in Tokyo in 1934-35, including a month in China, before returning to the United States via the Trans-Siberian Railway to Moscow and on to Paris. She also contributed to the nation as a correspondent until her father's sale of the publication in 1937 traveling to Valencia and Madrid to cover the Spanish Civil War. Her first book resulted from her Spanish experience, The Lost British Policy, Britain and Spain since 1700, published in 1938. In 1940 Vertime married Lester R. Touchman, an internist, medical researcher and professor of clinical medicine at Mount Sinai School of Medicine in Manhattan. They had three daughters, including Jessica Matthews, a former president of the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. During the years of World War II, Touchman worked in the Office of War Information. Following the war Touchman spent the next decade working to raise the children while doing basic research for what would ultimately become the 1956 book Bible and Sword, England and Palestine from the Bronze Age to Balfour. Historian with the publication of Bible and Sword in 1956, Touchman dedicated herself to historical research and writing turning out a new book approximately every four years, rather than feeling hampered by the lack of an advanced degree in history. Touchman argued that freedom from the rigors and expectations of academia was actually liberating, as the norms of academic writing would have stifled any writing capacity. Touchman favored a literary approach to the writing of history providing eloquent explanatory narratives rather than concentration upon discovery and publication of fresh archival sources. In the words of one biographer, Touchman was not a historian's historian. She was a layperson's historian who made the past interesting to millions of readers. Touchman's storytelling prowess was rewarded in 1963 when she received the Pulitzer Prize for her book The Guns of August dealing with the behind-the-scenes political machinations which led to the eruption of World War I in the summer of 1914. Touchman would receive a second Pulitzer in 1972 for her biography of Joseph Stilwell, Stilwell and the American Experience in China. In 1978, Touchman was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. She won a U.S. National Book Award in History for the first paperback edition of A Distant Mirror in 1980. Also in 1980 the National Endowment for the Humanities selected Touchman for the Jefferson Lecture, the U.S. federal government's highest honor for achievement in the humanities. Touchman's lecture was entitled Mankind's Better Moments. Touchman was a trustee of Radcliffe College and a lecturer at Harvard, the University of California, and the Naval War College, although she never received a formal graduate degree in history. 
Touchman was the recipient of a number of honoraries degrees from leading American universities, including Yale, Harvard, New York University, Columbia, Boston University, and Smith College, among others. Death and Legacy Barbara Touchman died February 6, 1989 in Greenwich, Connecticut following a stroke. She was 77 years old at the time of her death. Touchman is best remembered as a two-time winner of the illustrious The Pulitzer Prize for General Nonfiction, first for The Guns of August in 1963, and again for Stillwell and the American Experience in China, 1911-45 in 1972. A Tower of Courier House, a residential division first of Radcliffe College and now of Harvard College was named in her honor. Touchman's Law Disaster is rarely as pervasive as it seems from recorded accounts. The fact of being on the record makes it appear continuous and ubiquitous whereas it is more likely to have been sporadic both in time and place. Besides, persistence of the normal is usually greater than the effect of the disturbance, as we know from our own times. After absorbing the news of today, one expects to face a world consisting entirely of strikes, crimes, power failures, broken water mains, stalled trains, school shutdowns, muggers, drug addicts, neo-Nazis, and rapists. The fact is that one can come home in the evening, on a lucky day, without having encountered more than one or two of these phenomena. This has led me to formulate Touchman's Law, as follows. The fact of being reported multiplies the apparent extent of any deplorable development by five to tenfold. Touchman's Law has been defined as a psychological principle of perceptual readiness, or subjective probability. Publications Books The Lost British Policy, Britain and Spain since 1700, London, United Editorial, 1938, Bible and Sword, England and Palestine from the Bronze Age to Balfour, New York, New York University Press, 1956, The Zimmerman Telegram, New York, Viking Press, 1958, The Guns of August, New York, Macmillan, 1962, The Proud Tower, A Portrait of the World Before the War, 1890-1914, New York, Macmillan, 1966, Stillwell and the American Experience in China, 1911-45, Notes from China, New York, Collier, 1972, A Distant Mirror, The Calamitous 14th Century, New York, Alfred A. Knopf, 1978. Practicing History, Selected Essays, New York, Alfred A. Knopf, 1981. The March of Folly, From Troy to Vietnam, New York, Knopf, Random House, 1984. The First Salute, A View of the American Revolution, New York, Knopf, Random House, 1988. Other Works America's Security in the 1980s, London, International Institute for Strategic Studies, 1982, The Book, a lecture sponsored by the Center for the Book in the Library of Congress and the Authors League of America, presented at the Library of Congress, October 17, 1979, Washington, D.C., Library of Congress, 1980.